Here we go, we have another Zinnabay quickie here. Almost forgot about this character. Anyway, so the side quest is uh, given to me by Sherry. She's the, I made her the head of the Pollen uh, Works uh, research in uh, Frontier Village. So she's gonna give you this quest that says, says that she wants, uh, it's basically a continuation of the Red uh, Pollen Orb uh, side story that's been uh, going on in the game for quite some time. And but obviously you're gonna get this post Makana score event. You're not gonna you're not gonna get this before. So yeah. Anyway, uh, she says she says that I have to go find somebody in Colony Six. Uh, and open that'll give me the basic tip. And I've almost forgot about this guy here outside of Colony Six. I, I, I was looking inside the village actually. I forgot about this guy that I did a side quest for a long time ago. So yeah, I was looking around here. I couldn't find anything. So. Basically, this is the guy they want to look for. His name is Daza. Top secret data. Yeah, that's... Uh, so yeah, basically this side quest is going to be activated if you do all the side quests that are related to Daza, uh, Prima Conus Core, and Sherry, obviously, when you put, put her as leader. So this is like a very uh, specific side quest here. There we go. Research data. So cool, he gave us some research data and I'm gonna go to go give that back to what's her face. I don't know if this guy is doing anything, no, nothing. So let's go back to Frontier Village. works which is uh two the stones yeah I'm not even sure here switch to morning uh not here I have to go down uh let me show you something uh, pretty cool uh, there's a video that I did, it's about the side quest, another side quest that you actually did. And uh, here's a nice easter egg for you guys. If you're, uh, the side quest that I did was basically I, I had to fight against Banna because Banna was basically a bad guy. And uh, I was looking for Banna after I fought him and look where he is. <laughs> that's, his, that's his torture. He was just a manual labor. That was hilarious actually. That's his uh, sentence. You guys are curious where Banna is, so yeah, you can go talk to him there. He actually uh, gives you a relationship to uh, another kid. I don't know what his name is. Uh, there's a chip with an exclamation mark and cherry there. There we go. There we go. Pretty simple side quest there, and it uh, gives you a paralysis, uh, useful, useful gem there, paralysis. I'm still good to go. And we got a lot of HP from that as well. Yes. So that's cool. Yes. That's pretty cool. Cool stuff, and she has nothing for me. And apparently I opened up another side quest here. Look, there's an exclamation mark next to me. Where is that coming from? Oh. The boss, what's her name? What's his face? The Dobina. The Dobina. So yeah, anyway. Uh, cool stuff and uh, I don't know, sure. Should we do this? Can we make this side quest? Let's see. I thought the boss was kind of beat the attention. Nothing too bad. I'm telling you, my two students. He just came back from Colony 89 and he was there, he found a rare lucky charm near Huge Gun, one of the anti-air batteries. It's obvious to Hom Hom, very well to know upon one, two of them. Fallen objects from near anti-air battery 2. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Let's do this 2-in-1 side quest. Okay. 
Let's see if we can do it there. Uh, I think I need to swim to an anti air battery too, if I'm not mistaken. The anti air battery too is here. Oh, yeah, there are fallen objects there actually. So let's go to the central plaza and swim there. Obviously, all these side quests here, uh, they're, uh, they're triggered after you finish the, what's it called, the Matonis 4, and certain side quests, and uh, yeah, it's kind of dark, let me line up the, line up the picture here. Does that look good or still a little dark? I'm trying to find out the right, the right lighting. I think this is good. That's better. Or too light. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Anyway. We're supposed to go to swim this way. Yeah, there are the those fallen parts have been there since the beginning of the game, so. Like as you as you can see the, there's a there's a lot of uh, thought that goes into the side quests. It's as if it's uh, as if these uh, side quests are their own storyline. It's, it's been like that for quite some time, a lot of side quests that you do later in the game. You see these small things in the beginning of the game that we are related to this, so it's pretty cool. I like this. I'm kind of betting it's those things there. Fallen parts. Should be those. I don't see any explanation marks, so I'm not really sure where, where I'm supposed to go here. Around, this is anti air battery too, right? Oops, I swam the wrong area. That's stupid of me. Huh. That was dumb of me. I was I immediately distinguished with the fallen parts there, but it's actually this way, right? I'm going right? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I love this music, by the way. It's pretty cool. Uh, Yoko Shimura, what's her name? I can't pronounce it correctly, so I'm the pronunciation. But she basically uh, did the Mario and Luigi series uh, music. I like her style. She did Street Fighter as well. It's one of her first games, Street Fighter 2. It's a very nice, calming style of music. And also recently, uh, well, recently, yeah. Uh, like a year ago, I played a lot of Radiant Historia, and she did the music for that game as well. Very good DS game, by the way. It reminds me of uh, Chrono Trigger. Even though I didn't play Chrono Trigger, I, I knew the concept of the time travel, and that game has it as well. So, oh, there we go. Uh, that's why they—they they, uh, I need to you have to be a high level to, 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 to beat these guys. Yeah. They put it in a very uh, conspicuous place, basically. You can't get it unless you got you beat these people. Yeah, they beat these uh, people. <laughs> you beat these uh, stupid birds. That's not easy. You don't need to be in the exact same level of these things. You need to be uh, like uh, three. Uh, got him. What, are, what is this divine state? Finding us. Well. Go. 
game enemies here and they do get some cool weapons and armor so anyway uh, where, were we, where were we supposed to go the two objects where I forgot where was the sign oh yeah okay now I remember frontier village the opponent works it's down at the or storage level I'm not mistaken Can we make it before 15 minutes? If not, you're gonna see some uh, fighting cut off basically. I don't think we can. There we go, made it. First give one to Gadad and then. Oh, come on! And then she cannot keep she cannot keep secrets. So first give one to Gadada. Okay. So they're gonna extend this side quest a bit. Where is Gadada? I think he's upstairs. Oh come on. I'm gonna die. No way. <laughs> This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Oh well. So the to Kadada at least. That was quick. Good. Okay. Let's give one to Cherry. There over there. There we go, we're going to do my best. And we gave one to the other one, Sherry, and we gave back to him. What are you going to say? They're happy. Good for now. That's that. Basically, this is a hope we can do next time. Oh, and he gives me an Agoro Up gem, which is pretty good as well. And I got a lot of freaking experience from that. So yeah, basically these side quests are good for getting levels towards the end of the game. And they're all, you know, happy. Which is nice. Cool. That was a cool side quest. Pretty cool, so hope you guys enjoyed as usual. And I'm gonna cut off a bit of a fight so I can get this under 15 minutes so you two can accept it. Enjoy and uh, catch you later with another video as usual.